Hey there. I, I'll uh, just jump in. Can you hear me okay? I think so. Um, so, hey, my name's uh, Ryan Adnalian. I was a designer at Borden Vellum for seven years, but now I recently uh, moved out to Boulder, Colorado. Uh, still working in architecture uh, for a design build firm called Trad. But um, so let's see, I'll just jump into this project here. Um, so here's the existing house. So this is, it's really kind of broken into two different projects. It kind of started out as just a regular kitchen remodel and then uh, the cabin part came in later. But so for the existing house, um, here it is, it's a 1942 house. Um, this is the front, this is the back. This is where the cabin will end up going. Um, and then we did a uh, kitchen remodel. So this is kind of the before photos. So this is a plan of the existing house. The entry is over here. Um, and it was pretty closed off to the backyard. Uh, this was a, came down a couple of stairs and then you came out to this deck. Um, the stairs continued down to a basement. Here's the kitchen. It was all kind of pretty, pretty snug space. Uh, these blocks are window wells uh, for the basement below. So. So what we did for the first round of design was um, flip the door to over to this side and we put a window back over here, put some benches, kind of made more of a true entry space, um, and then really tried to open this up as much as possible, putting a double door here to the, to the backyard. Um, and since this was getting a little snug, we ended up putting a bench across here for the dining room uh, that really kind of helped uh, keep this a little bit more open. Um, so while we were working on this, um, the West Seattle blog posted a blog post from the Southwest Seattle Historic Society about this cabin that was going to be demolished and uh, taken down to make way for a new uh, condo, uh, new condo units, where I think we're going to be live workspaces. And uh, Nickel Bros uh, posted it up that they were going to try to move it somewhere if anyone was interested. And um, yeah, the blog, they wrote this awesome blog post about it. Um, so the client saw it and they're like, well, what can we do with this? Can we move it to our, to our house and use it as an addition? So um, we had to do some digging. Um, but so here's the house. It was, I think, in 1907 or six, and it was basically built the same year Pike's Place Market was built. And it was uh, same as uh, St. James Cathedral. And it's the same year that uh, West Seattle officially became part of Seattle. So here's the cabin sitting on the site. Uh, this is another angle here. The cabin had an addition put onto it uh, later. And then uh, here's some photos on um, a little close when we do the as built you know, measurements of the spaces. We end up taking photos too close, but uh, that's the existing fireplace and uh, kind of the entry area, the cabin. So when we're figuring out if we can do this, oh, so yeah, here's the plan of the cabin. So this was the addition back here on this back half, and this was the uh, historic cabin portion. So that's the part that we are gonna move. So when figuring out if we can do this or not, you know, it's kind of a, one of those things where it's like, well, is the city going to know or want us to consider this new construction or is it existing construction? And um, why that matters is because, you know, we knew we would meet the zoning code, which is for setbacks and, you know, lot coverage and all those things. But what we didn't know was, you know, if they were going to consider it new or old. And where that comes into play is for energy code. Um, because the house, the cabin was built with, you know, two by fours, there's not enough room to get proper insulation to meet the current code. Um, but they have ex acceptance or, you know, var variances in there in the code that allow you to fill the cavity as much as possible if it's existing uh, with insulation. So if we had to rebuild all the walls, it's kind of pointless to move this and we would just end up building new, so trying to trying to save it. And, you know, the city was great to work with on this project. Um, I know they've kind of um, been slow to respond lately on things, but 
um, they were super helpful on this and really great. And, you know, having that blog post uh, too uh, was super helpful because it showed, you know, the community is excited about this and trying to keep the cabin from ending up in the landfill. So it worked out. So what we did here, um, you need to see more photos of this, but this was the alleyway that we came in on and uh, this all got excavated out to make way for the, the cabin here. Um, so here's the second round of design. So we kept that front space um, pretty much the same. Uh, we had to flip one of the window wells over here for egress out of the basement bedroom. Um, we ended up not building the staircase down to this basement underneath here, um, just to try to keep excavation to a minimum. Um, didn't want to go extra deep. Uh, so we actually figuring out where to set the house versus how it meets the uh, cab or where we want to set the cabin versus where it meets the house. We figured that we had to align the roof eaves and that gave us, you know, we knew we'd have like one or two steps down into the transition space. But other than that, it lined up pretty good. So let's see, this is the house on this side and this is the cabin. This is kind of the dividing line between the two. And so what we focused on was trying to, you know, align these roof eaves here um, so that it just looked like it made sense. Um, and that ended up fitting like weirdly just perfect. Um, and it wasn't too wide. You know, we were able to bring it in on the sides here. So it just nestled in perfectly to the, to the house. Uh, another thing to note is um, one of these windows we were able to shift over and um, put right where the old door was to coming out um, to the back deck. So we had another kind of interior window there. Um, so here's a section cut of the house. Um, so this is the cabin on this side, and this is the existing house. And it, you can see, like, this is a transition right there. So you can see a couple steps down there. Um, we had to build, you know, the, up the foundation and basically made this a uh, retaining wall so that this held up uh, this corner of the house. Um, so here's the route. Um, we moved it. 1.9 miles from the original site. So here's where it sat. We came down California Street and then um, turned right here and dropped it off in the alley and then backed it in, into the property. Um, so prepping the cabin, you know, we knew we could, um, we had a nice wide road because we were next to the, where the rapid ride was. Um, but the, some of the challenges were the power lines. So we had to cut more of the roof off than we originally wanted to, um, but uh, still ended up working out. And then we built some temporary walls in the back here to keep the whole cabin from falling apart during the move. Um, and then just kind of wrapped it up in the park there. So here's the existing, the existing house in sight. And so we just peeled back the siding um, and excavated out in preparation for the cabin coming in. So basically the cabin was going to be sitting up on these um, blocks here, temporary, and then we would build, build up the new foundation up to it. Um, so here's the cabin getting moved and getting prepped off the site um, and put onto the truck. Um, and then it's just basically walked down California Street. This is southwest Alaska Street in California um, Street right here. So got some fun videos to share. So here's it driving down California Street. Everyone's super stoked. It was in the middle of the night, so um, the, there was quite a few uh, drunk people running around. My moves left. Crazy. So they just kind of walked it down there. Um, so then here's another video. So when we get to this site, um, you know, they just had to back it in here. They had all the blocking ready to go and to stack up. Kind of takes a minute. And I'll just kind of click through it. So they, you know, basically measured it pretty perfectly. Um, and then just really backed it in there. Um, let's see. So yeah, these guys, you know, move 
houses quite a bit. They sometimes will put them on barges and send them out on uh, boats to you know different islands or something um, to save them, save houses. Um, these things are like super heavy and this guy's just chucking them like nothing <laughs> to make way. Um, yeah, it just kind of backs in here and then we get really close. Um, you don't have to worry too much about this guy. You can dump, duck underneath this thing here, but basically just got it as close as we could to the house. Yep, and then just parked it right there. So, um, so yeah, so it moved down, it's 1.9 miles. And the funny thing was when we got down there at the end, um, they had, you know, weren't ready to move it into the, or back it into its final resting place. So it kind of hung out in the, neighbor's backyard for the evening and uh, the guy felt really bad so he ended up running around and getting some nice restaurant gift cards for them um, but yeah it kind of hung out there they kind of woke up the next morning like whoa is the house in my backyard um, so here's the site again uh, getting prepped for move and so basically just kind of backs in here and then it's put up on these temporary blocks and then we build up the foundation uh, to meet where the cabin is so here you can see this is the foundation built up and just resting on this little pony wall here. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this is cabin in the backyard and then we end up backfilling here. So this is that original kitchen and then this is the opening where the new bench seat's gonna go and the new kitchen opening to the, um, the cabin back there. And then this is standing in the cabin. Uh, we have a new steel beam there for the header. Um, and it turns out we were just one step down. So uh, it was really nice uh, to have that transition. So here are the final photos. Um, we moved the door over uh, to make that bigger entryway. Um, here's coming in. These are those windows that divided between the uh, true entry space and the kitchen. Um, here's the kitchen remodel. So it really kind of opened up the space. And then now this is uh, the bench seat with the dining um, that goes out to the, the cabin at the end there. So this is inside the cabin. Um, fireplace was uh, an old cobblestone fireplace on the outside and we uh, dropped a steel tube in inside there to help reinforce it uh, to keep it from falling apart if there's an earthquake. Um, added a mini split uh, here for heating and cooling. So this is uh, looking at the other corner here, this is a door out to the backyard uh, deck. And then this is a little office space. So this is inside the office, got it set up as a desk. And then this is that window that looks back into the house, um, right at the stairs that go down to the basement. Um, and here's the um, backyard um, cabin sitting on there. We backfilled the grass. Um, you know, made it all flat. Um, and then here's the deck, uh, stairs being down. So a couple things that I think so fun about this is, you know, saving the cabin uh, from going to the landfill and doing a little historic preservation. Um, and, you know, it was a uh, homeowner built. So this is Holly and Neil uh, bringing in a big beam. And, uh, you know, they'll know how to fix this for a long time and um, be able to keep it around for for a while. And, uh, you know, uh, it's really fun to see the community pretty excited about it with the blog and um, yeah. So these are some folks that helped out, um, thanks to all them. And then, yeah, our sponsors. So I don't know if you all have any uh, questions or want to look back at something else. Hey, Ryan, how are you? Hey, good, how's it going? Good, it's great to see that move. <laughs> yeah. Right How on. far? What was the distance for the move? Yeah, it was 1.9 miles. So we moved it, yeah, from down here, uh, just up California Street, and then turned right and then came and brought it down the alley and then back again. 
and they walk it. Yeah, it's kind of in the middle of the night, and um, yeah, just help with traffic. Yeah. But the, but you said kept everybody entertained. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was good People out at the bars. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you for uh, sharing. It was really interesting. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Have a good day. See ya. So uh, how much of the materials were reused for, et cetera? Pretty much everything was reused except for, um, you know, we did a little bit of work around the fireplace and we had to do some drywall work and patching on the ceilings and then some new lighting um, and then some new siding patching. But pretty much almost everything was the same. We had the new roof um, because of the power lines. But yeah, we try to keep as much as, as possible. Oh, the outside part. Yeah, so the siding was updated. Um, we had a question here about the siding. So yeah, so we, you know, this part was, you know, original up there, but down around here, we, you know, did some new siding. Um, what about the outside part? Okay, so side stage is fine. Plumbing, electrical. There was no plumbing. It was just the um, the electrical was updated in the cabin. But um, a lot of the electrical was already updated from when the construction company was in there. Um, so it wasn't much more for us uh, to do. Yeah, pretty much everything stayed the same. So, um, so I have a question. Yeah. I this is I'm the one who typed the fact that I love this house. I didn't know it got saved. I'm so happy about that. It's so cool. I love things like that. Could you talk a little bit about cost? It's yeah. This is fabulous. It seems extraordinarily expensive to me in my imagination. Could you? Yeah. Speak to some of that? You've got to yeah. So originally, um. So it was, they bought the cabin for $1. And then um, to move it was like, I think $50,000. And then, you know, the cost, because we had to end up doing the roof, the cost basically ended up being about the same as if we were to just build it new. Um, there wasn't really a cost saving. Originally though, okay. if we didn't have to do the roof or anything, there would have been a quite a massive, you know, cost savings, um, but just because of, you know, some of those complications. Um, yeah, it just ended up costing more. Okay. Yeah, no, and it just, I suppose, so it's at least helpful to know that it's kind of even with those extra costs. It was equivocal to constructing yeah, right. something that size as well. So, exactly. and in the meantime, we got saved. So, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Beautiful thank project. Yeah, thank you. Um, let's see, is there any other questions there? A couple other folks here. Not sure how much you've seen. Um, I'm actually going to grab some water. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm not sure how much of the presentation you've seen. Well, I've watched it a couple of times. Um, Holly oh, okay. and Neil are my daughter and son in law. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Yeah, right That's on. That's why I'm watching it over and over again. Oh, yeah. Well, it was so fun. I mean, gosh, they're, they're such fun people. Yeah. Uh, so you've seen that? You've been there then? Oh, yeah. I live down the road from them. Oh, right on. Yeah. And Holly was trying to get on just now and couldn't get on. Oh, so, no. So she said that she would see it later because she... That yeah. yeah. They're recording it, so. so. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. Oh yeah, I'm enjoying watching it because I've been there so many times. So cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. But I, I mean, there, all the backstory. Before. There's so much detail that it's um, it it helps me to watch it over and over again. Mm -hmm. You know, to see all the detail. Yeah, there's lots that went into it. Yeah, uh, I wasn't. Um, I was out of town when all this took place. Mm -hmm. And so when I came back, it was already there, and I was so disappointed <laughs> that I wasn't there for it. I know. It happened uh, because, you know, it's funny trying to schedule the move, and, uh, you know, it's really when the permitting, they could get the permits and get the street closed down, and had to be on, you know, a Saturday or something when 
there'd be the least amount of traffic and in the middle of the night. And so it all happened pretty quick, but mm -hmm. yeah, because there's, you know, not too many times to get moved. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely a fun one for sure. So it looks like we got a question. Join late costs for utilities to clear and move route. So um, they, they bought the cabin for a dollar and then to move the cabin, it cost about $50,000. But you know, all in all, at the end of the day, this ended up costing about as much to just build new, um, which is kind of unfortunate. We were hoping to save quite a bit, but because of the roof and some of the extra structural stuff we had to do, um, you know, because we strapped this thing down to the new foundation and you know brought it up to uh, meet seismic and all that good stuff. So you know, it really didn't save a whole lot like the original intent, but. Um, so cool, we got to save something. 